So I wanted to make a quick video while I'm recovering these 18650s because uh, I had a whole bunch of laptop batteries to tear apart. So I've got my LiPo charger here and when you insert a battery it will switch over and recognize it. Okay, I've got this cell here which I've tested it. Uh, should be at like 2 volts so let me go ahead and put this kind of hard to do with hands so I'm gonna all right so this battery is at two volts it's not recognized by the charger say so positive negative two volts I'm gonna put it in the charger and we're gonna show that it's not being recognized positive negative okay so not being recognized doesn't auto switch over so I have a fully good recovered cell here and I have this battery adapter. It's supposed to be belong to like a whole bunch. This one doesn't have a BMS. So I don't know if that matters or not, but this is just an empty cell. What's important is that those are in series. Okay, so negative, negative, positive, positive. So what I'm gonna do now is just take this cell, make sure I've got positive, positive, negative, negative. Put it in here for a few seconds, holding onto it just to make sure it doesn't get warm. I don't feel it warm, anything else like that. Remember, we are at two volts. So now I've got my meter in there, positive. So we're reading 3.6, positive. Now, since these are in series um, or in parallel, they're, they're going to want to balance. So there's my positive. 3.7. 3.7 so now these are the same so now I'm going to remove the battery now we're going to see if my charger is going to recognize it because now it's it's got three volts in it and sure enough being recognized we're at 3.8 volts these this will charge now so we went from a battery that didn't charge to a battery that was able to charge just by jumping it from a good cell now, I know this does put stress on the cell. These are all recovered from laptop batteries. I don't care. So that's fine. If you're trying to recover 18650s and you have a charger that won't recognize your 18650, try this trick, especially if you have one of these just empty guys laying around. You can get them for a couple bucks. This is so much better than trying to hold raw wire onto it. Th th this is my recommendation to jumpstart your batteries to start to get them to charge and see how much capacity that you could possibly get out of those dead and dying battery packs.